said the world of humanity is in need of international unity and conciliation. To establish these great fundamental principles, a propelling power is needed. And according to the Baha'is, that power was vested in Baha'u'llah. To the members of the Baha'i faith, Baha'u'llah is the manifestation of God, akin to Jesus or Muhammad or Buddha or Lord Krishna. And yesterday, millions of faithful followers flocked at commemorative events around the world to celebrate the birth of their most revered Baha'u'llah. Speaking as the chairperson for the event and quoting from the Universal House of Justice, the international governing body of the Baha'i faith, chair of the Baha'i's National Assembly, Ms. Evelyn Hamilton, said that in every era, God, the Almighty, sends a representation of himself to inspire and change the course of history. Each of them set out teachings and truths that answer the needs of the age. It is our belief that Baha'u'llah, born 200 years ago, is such a figure. The local celebration was marked by a week of activities and culminated last evening at the Yumanayana with recitations, songs, and a video that chronicled the life of Baha'u'llah and the forms of worship and work of the Baha'is around the world. Lord of hosts, the spirit of truth, the promised one, the glory of God, Baha'u'llah. Minister of Education, Nicolette Henry, brought remarks on behalf of President Granger. She said that religious events are pauses to reflect. And the minister used the event to speak of her government's focus on national unity and social cohesion. Religious occasions like these is an excellent forum to highlight the strong focus an alignment of some of the values that we believe in, such as social cohesion and national unity. Baha'u'llah revealed the word of God to humanity for almost 40 years. His ascension took place on the 29th of May, 1892, eight hours after sunset, in the 75th year of his age. There are about six million Baha'is who can be found in every country of the world, and there are about 5,000 Baha'is in the local assembly. For Channel 2 Headline News, I am Wendell Jeffrey.